What's up, guys? Uh, Adam here, and today I have a special video for you guys. It's not Call of Duty related one bit. Um, it's actually how to live stream on a Mac. All right, so I had this video idea. Well, I got this video idea from a friend of mine called Craft Dan. You guys may know him if you're in the Minecraft uh, community, I guess. Uh, he he basically said to me because he found out that I'd done some live streams recently, and he knows that I'm on a Mac because they're friends at school. And he said to me, you know, how, how do you live stream on a Mac? Because I tried and it doesn't really work. You know, how, how do you do it? And then, you know, he said you should make a video about it. So here I am making a video on how to live stream on a Mac. Alright, um, it's pretty simple. It's not, it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. All you need is two programs, easily downloaded from, well, one of them is easily downloaded. You can just Google it. You know, it's pretty simple. It's called Campist. Now, I'll bring it up here for you guys. Alright, so this, this is Canvas. What it is, is it's sort of like a, hmm, it's like a screen recorder, but it only records what you want to see, and it doesn't actually record it, so you can view it, like, again, basically, it's only used, well, I only use it for live stream, I don't use it for anything else, I don't, I'm just, I don't know what else you could use it for, but, um, it's pretty simple to use, and I will go through it now. Okay, so the thing I'm going to be test recording today is Minecraft. I'm not actually going to be live streaming this, it's just like how to do it. Alright, so say you wanted to record Minecraft. What you want to do is, well it depends really, if you want to record it so that all they'll see is Minecraft, and if you drag like another screen over the top of it, they won't see that other screen. They'll only see Minecraft. You want to click on Desktop Plus. You want to double click on that, then you want to go all the way across to the right side of it, and you know, select confine to application window. So you want to tick this box here, make sure it's ticked. And then what you want to do is filter out untitled windows. So this box here will mean that you'll only see whatever you select in here. So you want to be selecting Minecraft, so you click on Minecraft, and that means that anything else that'll go over the top whoops, that'll go over the top of Minecraft will not get seen right this this is pretty handy just in case like while you're streaming you accidentally open up your Skype or your Facebook or something that way something like that won't happen and also click show mouse pointer just because that way you'll be able to see a mouse pointer and I know you can't see the mouse pointer on the screen recorder that I'm using at the moment which is a bit annoying but you know I will have to do. And then what you want to do is you want to click select capture area. Because if you can see here, this thing also selects up top. So what you want to do is you want to drag it down so it's just under there and you can't see where it says Minecraft anymore. Alright, so now you're probably thinking, alright, then you go done selecting. Cool. Now you're thinking, so you selected what we want to live stream, how exactly do we get the live stream to work? What you want to do is this is where you down where you have your second program. This program is called Flash Media Encoder. All right, free program. You can easily download it off your off Twitch TV or Justin TV. And what it does basically is it's like this is how this is what your live stream will see. So I'll open this up for that. All right, so this is like your selected area that you selected with Cam Twist, as you can see the device input is cam twist and what it means see now you can see my mouse yeah, yay that means see like even though I've got this over the top of Minecraft all you can see is Minecraft you can't see this which is what we want alright so you want to set your device here in video you want to set your device to cam twist alright not FaceTime unless you want to live stream your webcam right? You want to select the format to H.264. Alright. Select your frame rate to 30 frames per second. And your input size, because I can't remember what my input size is. But you want to say, it depends really, if you want like high quality live stream, you know, you set it to um, 1280 by 720. And this means, like, basically, if you've got a really good computer, like a like a Mac Pro or something, 
this is probably really ideal. I can live stream in 12 radio by 720, but it usually lags a tiny bit, and you know, you want to have the best quality live stream. So what you want to do is you want to reduce it down to half that size, which is 640 by 360. And this isn't actually going to change the size of your screen at all. It'll just mean that your like live stream, the quality, it's not it's not going to be bad. It'll still it's like the very it's a very small difference between 1280 by 720 and 640 by 360. But it just means that you're not going to lag really at all, and it will be very good for you. All right. So yeah, keep it on 640 by 360. All right, and maintain that stuff ratio. That way, it never fails. Okay. This is, and then your fit rate, you know, it should just be 640 by 360, 650 kilobytes per second, that's, that's all fine. Um, what you want to know how is that I didn't realize this, but for, say, example, you had, like, black, um, black bars on either side of the video, because it wasn't, like, big enough, you can use the cropping tool to, like, crop parts of the video out. So, say, for example, I had this here. I could like crop out here and then my live stream would only show that or you know I wouldn't want to do that because it's terrible but yeah you always want to make sure if you need to crop anything out you just click and drag these top bottom left and right arrows across and that will crop out like any parts on like the left side or on the right side you know it's kind of helpful it's good to know this stuff for like some games that you might want to live stream might not fit the screen and this will kind of like, if you crop it out, it'll like stretch it across the screen so it will fit. Right. Um, if you want to record your voice as well in the like, live stream, you want to make sure that you have the audio box ticked and select the device you want to record with. You know, so I'm, I wouldn't use the internal microphone really, because that way, you know, if you get a lot of CPU and your computer starts to hum, you know, you can really hear it and it sounds bad. So just select like a USB mic like I'm using right now. And also select the volume of how loud you're going to want to hear your voice. All this stuff in here doesn't really affect you too much. Okay, what you want to do here is this is, this is like the username and password to stream pretty much. So the FMS URL here, which is, you know, blah blah blah, live, PC, Justin TV, slash app. This I'll post. Um, I'll put it in the description, you just got to copy and paste it to your FMS URL. Uh, it's the exact same for everyone, and this is basically, like I said, the username to stream on whatever you're streaming on. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this only works for Justin TV and Twitch TV, because um, I don't stream on anything else. And this part, this is the part that's like crucial, and this is why a lot of people can't stream. It's the like stream. So this here, this is like your password, the password to your stream pretty much. Now, everyone has their own unique password. Um, this isn't my actual one, this is just the numbers I wrote, so this is what it kind of looks like. What it is, basically, is it allows you to stream off your, like, account. And basically, if anyone else has this, and they put it in, they can stream stuff off your account, but it's not necessarily you, okay? So this is crucial. You never want to show anyone your stream password. Um, yeah, I'll show you how to find it. What you want to do, right, so we're done with, sorry, we're done with Flash Media Encoder for a second. So what you want to do, to find your stream password, you want to open up your Twitch TV broadcaster dashboard, and over here to the right, it'll say, first time broadcasting, check out the streaming apps. You want to click on that, and it'll bring you up to this, this page here, it says broadcast while you play. This is where you download Flash Media Encoder. Um, you will have to make an Adobe account in order to download this, but that takes like two seconds, and you know, it's, it doesn't really matter, it's pretty easy. Alright, so yeah, that's where you download Flash Media Encoder. And then here is where you get your key. So you want to click Show Key, and then that will show you um, what your key is, and you basically copy and paste that into here. Now, I'm not going to show you my key, because you know, that's stupid, and you guys the live stream off my account and that would be bad because, you know, you, you never want to show this someone. So this is basically like your password, you don't tell anyone it, you don't show anyone it. Right? So yeah, that's that. Don't need that anymore. And then what you do, once you put your key in, obviously, you know, fake key, blah blah blah, you want to click connect. And it should just say connected, and that'll be all fine. And then what you want to do, the last thing you're going to do, is just hit 
start. And when you press start, it'll begin the live stream. So then you can go to your Twitch TV account, go onto your you know channel, and it'll basically it'll show what you've got on the screen here. You know, hopefully it'll be good for you. Hopefully, you know, you might need to tweak some stuff in here, but you shouldn't really need to. And um, once it shows that, you know, it's all cool. And you can live stream away. You know, it'll probably have like from what you're doing and what is on your like channel, it'll there'll be like a two or three second delay. That's perfectly normal because there's no way you could possibly live stream with like no delay at all. I mean it's not laggy on your internet, it's just like delayed live stream. So yeah, hope this helped you guys um, learning how to live stream. If you have any questions you need to ask me, just comment and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, that's basically all. Have fun live streaming guys. And um, yeah, remember any questions put in the comments.